morning. Although I imagine by the time my uh, signal uploads this, it'll be a uh, good afternoon or good evening. Anyways, we're going to dive into some uh, Americana today, some classic stuff. And that uh, will be focused on this, the half and half pipe tobacco. This is a classic American standby. Um, I'm sure at one point in time, this was probably like the most um, smoked and purchased pipe tobacco in America, probably this in Carter Hall. Um, and believe it or not, somehow in all these years, I have never, ever tried this. Um, those of you who have tuned in before know that for like the first decade of my um, smoking adventures, I pretty much only smoked aromatics, um, by and large because I was ignorant to the fact that there was anything outside of that. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't know why, but something about this never really called to me you know and I can remember um you know the midwest excuse me usually stays at least uh 10 to uh 50 years behind the times depending on where you are at in the midwest and I grew up in the midwest so I remember the old school drug stores with like uh you know the 15 to 25 cent coca-cola in a glass bottle you know you could buy a corn cob or your doctor grab out pipes for like 25 to 35 bucks and just tons and tons of pouches of half and half tubs of half and half carter hall sir walter raleigh um prince hour you know whatever stuff like that um some of you other cats in the midwest probably remember that especially the uh some of you um Folks who are over 50 will definitely remember that. Um, and it probably had plenty of this. But yeah, anyway, somehow, this is going to be my first time trying it. So I figured I would uh, take you all along for this portion, this chapter of my uh, adventures in pipe tobacco. Because um, yeah, I kind of, you know, I, I wanted something kind of light. I'm out here in the workshop today and I'm going to be working on some um, some Yuletide crafts so in with the flavor um, kind of seem perfect for the season too um, so yeah I'm going to be enjoying this to stay true to the theme of classic Americana this very old yellow bowl now um, there's a lot of, obviously, there's a cult following behind the uh, KBB pipes, Yellow Bowl, K Woody, all those things. Um, and you can, if you have some old ones, there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of information to help you try and date it. Um, so this one is, says KBB in the clover stamped without the ampersand which is an important detail um and this stamp means that it is made in as early as the 30s um i think think as late as 45 or something like that um without the ampersand um those with the ampersand i believe could be as late as like 55 but anyways um, so that, you want to look for that, and then this yellow bowl has the, uh, the brass O on the stem, so that in combination with the KBB clover on the left side of the shank, and it says cured, you know, briar cured with honey. Um, so all those things in combination dates this particular pipe between 1933 and 1936 and so uh, I haven't I haven't smoked this pipe a lot this was like uh, something my mom saw at an old antique store it's pretty I don't want to some people would say beat up I would say that it was very very well loved somebody was incredibly fond of this pipe 
and smoke the ever-loving shit out of it, man. I mean, <laughs> there's like stress cracks, but they're not all the way through. So I am going to have to be careful. Um, and it's pretty gnarled up right there. But uh, for a workshop pipe, doesn't bother me. I don't want to split it all the way because this is, you know, a piece of American pipe smoking history. But also, I'm going to guess in the years 33 to 36, whoever was smoking this pipe, I bet almost guarantee it was smoking plenty of this out of it. So, whoever this pipe came from, um, I don't know if you're still alive or if you have passed on. This is a state pipe, but either way, here's to you. For some reason you see this, cheers. If you've passed on, then cheers to your spirit. Let's let's see uh, what happens. Hmm. It's got a really nice smell. Uh, it's got a really classic kind of Virginia, just Virginia leaf smell with a little bit of extra sweetness. Mm, it's actually really, really, really deep aroma. It's pretty fluffy. It's a ribbon cut. Um, now this is a burly and bright leaf. Virginia's with a mild top note, supposedly, of cardamom, anise, and maize. Um, you can smell that. It kind of, honestly, kind of smells like unbaked Christmas cookies, like still uh, the dough. Whatever. I'm going to pause this and pack it up and let's get going. I almost forgot. Um... Since uh, I was figuring I would smoke the half and half out of this and it's pretty gnarled up, I got some of uh, the softy bits. These things are awesome. Um, if you simply want to protect your pipe, this is, a, this is a great way to keep your uh, teeth from marring it up there. But also, if, um, if you smoke a lot while you're working with your hands, this really adds a quite a grip to the uh, tooth of it and um, especially if it's an already light pipe which this pipe is extremely light it's a really awesome uh, little addition to any pipe that you plan on smoking a lot uh, fits on there pretty good it covers that right up so good grip so I can be running a knife and stuff and I don't have to worry about just slipping out my teeth without, you know, risking cracking it even more. <laughs> Anyways, let's, let's try this stuff. Takes a flame really easily. Yeah, very easy light right out of the pouch for his um, kind of like a, I don't know. It felt really uh, moist and fluffy, so I was wondering if it might be difficult to light, but not, not at all.
<coughs> Excuse me. It's just light. Really, really light. Really mild. Still has a pretty thick smoke, which I appreciate. I really like... Uh, I think one of the things I really like about the uh, blends that include a lot of uh, Latakia is how the mouthfeel and like the of that like voluminous thick velvety smoke. And this isn't quite that thick, but it's definitely the mouthfeel. There's definitely a texture to it, um, which I appreciate. It's just really light. Um, I imagine there's probably no risk of a pipe bite whatsoever with something like this. I honestly am not picking up yet on any of those um, top notes, which the one that intrigued me the most was the anise. I'm a big fan of anise and um, black licorice flavors, so I was really... Um, that's what made me decide. I was like, oh yeah, I really gotta try this stuff. Mm, there's definitely a little bit of a um, warmness to it um by that i mean you know because it's like those are warming spices well cardamom anyways hmm. not bad at all cool burning and I can see why people um, would enjoy this it's a very unintrusive smoke it's a uh, very light on the palate and the senses um, there's not a lot going on there uh, there's not really any nuances that I've picked up on so far And I'm wondering too, I'm sure that part of what made it so popular back in the day was just um, that it was readily available, I'm going to guess. You know, I don't know what smokers were after back then. There's really nothing about this that um, grabs me in a way that was like, yes, I think I will always have um, this on hand, but uh, I wouldn't turn my nose up if I was ever offered a bowl or a pouch. I think it's probably a really, really good uh, working man smoke if you're out in the field or in a workshop or on a um, job site or something and you just wanted to have, your, uh, have the company of a briar and some tobacco. This would probably be a good one that you could smoke all day long that's not going to uh, offend any others with the aroma. But anyways. I guess there you have it. Half and half. <laughs> I was honestly kind of... Uh, I thought it would be a little bit more exciting. Well, 
let's hear your your guys' opinions, especially some of you <coughs> older fellas who have been smoking tobacco for a couple of decades. Let's hear uh, from you guys about when this was some of the only kind of stuff that you could find readily available versus what you have now. Um, any memories surrounding half and half? I mean, it is a cool um, key component of pipe tobacco and pipe smoking like Americana history. So I'll give it that. Otherwise, not that exciting. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.